been a fantastic year and a fantastic term success not only in academic areas but also in sport and in music. This week we say goodbye to the choir on tour to Italy and last week we celebrated a magnificent sports day. We have students representing the, the, the county in, in equestrian events uh, and students going on to get through to the latter stages of even England trials, for example cricket. Student and staff have worked so hard this term Especially our A-level students have been preparing for their exams this summer and we were really looking forward to those results in August. This is a school open for all and to all. Uh, we've had uh, students from primary schools from Exeter, Honiton and the Axe Beacon uh, group of schools. Uh, it is a very exciting time for the school. Uh, this term we've been busying ourselves getting ready for our, uh, our new house to join us, Elm House, and the school will move to a five form of entry. At the same time, we're getting ready to launch uh, the new six form entry uh, for 2018. A very exciting time where students from all over the Southwest can now join the most successful school in the Southwest uh, and enjoy the education that is on offer here. However, now is the time for everyone to enjoy a well earned rest. Everyone has worked very hard, both staff and students. They have achieved so much uh, with a smile on their face in a happy, supportive, environment. Everyone have a very good summer. Thank you. So Citizens Day the 3rd of July 2017 is all about trying to get students engaged in the wider world to try and get them thinking about current political, social, economic, health, um, environmental, all sorts of issues. The, the session theme is um, encouraging global citizenship and multidisciplinary thinking. So what, what, what that means and what we've really been trying to achieve is to try and get students to be better citizens of the world. So first period, um, all four year groups were, were, were given a few things. They were first and foremost given a question. Um, so for example, what steps should the European Union take um, in response to secessionist movements within regions of member states like Scotland or Catalonia in Spain. Then those, those were all collected in and judged by our team of 16 room chairs from years 12 and 13. Um, and period three they were asked to prepare for a debate. Um, period four, years nine and ten would be split up into, into rooms, um, four in each room and they'd be debating all four of those motions. And they, they would be brought together as a year group um, into a general assembly of all of the committees, all 16 committees in their year group, um, to debate those best motions for the period um, under the watchful eye of our judges. At, at the cathedral, we um, we're taking on a guided tour where we learnt lot, lots about the history of the, of the church and um, lots about the architectural history. Um, we learnt that it was used to be quite a sociable place and the centre of the city and that people used to meet there for gatherings and unlike nowadays it was very much where everybody would go to meet rather than around it. On June the 8th we held an in-school general election where all years were asked to come and vote for the party that they thought should be representing the Colleton Grammar School constituency. Uh, the results were Labour won, then the Liberal Democrats, then the Green Party, Conservatives and then finally UKIP. Although it might seem odd that the result was different to the national result, in fact, the youth vote broke substantially for Labour in this election, primarily due to Jeremy Corbyn as the leader. And you can see this through the results that we had at school as well. The turnout in the ele school election was 68%, almost exactly the same as the national turnout. And the winning house uh, for year 7 to 10 was Cedar. The year group with the highest turnout was year 7, closely followed by year 11. And the group with the worst turnout was the staff with 15%.
Tex Robotics teams from three local schools joined the two teams from Colleton to take part in a practice event. We are building a hub in the southwest and had secured funding to start teams in a number of local schools. The day was designed to support those teams as well as giving our teams a chance to prepare for the regional competition that's coming up here in January. All the teams found it a hugely rewarding and learnt a lot. We also invited teachers from local schools to come and look at the VEX IQ. The VEX IQ is aimed at Key Stage 3 and will be starting this next year. So if you're in Year 7 and that sounds of interest, look out for further details next year.